Okay, so let's uh, go through the process of creating our first project. So if you go and uh, click on create new project, you get a screen where you have to select a project template. Uh, project template is uh, like the basic uh, setup, like the first screen, how is that's gonna look like, uh, that's the project template. Um, like if you're a professional developer, a lot of times what people do is they select no activity. It uh, does not give them a you know, basic skeleton to start with uh, because they know what they want to build. Uh, when you are a beginner and you want to just start off new apps, it's better that we start off with a skeleton we know what kind of screen that we want to make um, for uh, you know first timers uh, you know initial projects to be made I generally recommend using the empty activity empty activity is the simplest app uh, it contains the least amount of code you don't have to understand what the project is it's just one screen and it contains hello world inside it it's, it's the most simple app that you can make uh, for the first time so when you're making your first app let's select empty activity these days there is an empty compose activity also new that has come uh, make sure not to select that it's it's a new way of making apps uh, we will probably talk about it later in the course maybe maybe not uh, it's it's not something that's uh, the traditional way of making apps as of now so uh, once again just uh, reiterating empty activities what we select and then go to the next step and uh, here what we have to do is uh, select a couple of things about our app so when we make our first app uh, we need to give uh, it a couple of things we need to give it a name uh, of course we'll give it a name and uh, let's just say that uh, you know uh, my first app is the name and then it needs a package name the package name is something that exists in java uh, it helps classify apps and projects and uh, you know uh, everything so a package name is in the format of a word dot another word dot another word and, and and like that okay so it needs to have at least two words with at least one dot you can have more than that so you can make it like a dot b dot c dot d dot e it make it longer as well uh, it's just a way of uniquely naming your apps uh, the important thing about package name is that uh, the package name of your app must be unique uh, if the package name of your app is same as any other package name of some existing app on the app store you a play store you can't upload that app to the play store like your apps package name should be unique uh, and it should not match that of the package name of any other app uh, two apps with the same package name can't be installed on a phone and two apps with the same package name can't be uploaded to the play store as well uh, generally what people do is if they have uh, a website of their own if they have a company then uh, they write the reverse of their website like if our website name is codingblocks.com so our package name we generally do is com.codingblocks.name of our app that's that's the convention and that's what a studio fills up for you but uh, you know it can literally be anything nobody stopping you from making anything uh, as your package name okay uh, then we of course have to select a place where we would be uh, saving our project uh, so i'll just write say android uh, course restructure maybe and uh, i'll just call it zero one uh, my first app something like that okay that's the folder where i want to save it uh, you can just click here and uh, select that folder if you want to uh, okay uh, but uh, that's fine uh, uh, as of right now today you can still uh, create apps uh, you can start uh, making apps using both java and kotlin in this course we are going to be selecting kotlin because it is the more mainstream way of creating apps uh, in uh, 2020 and almost in every big company which is working on android they're making their new projects on kotlin so we'll be making this using kotlin uh, next another thing that you have to select is the minimum sdk the minimum sdk is like the minimum version of android which your app is supposed to support now uh, there are a bit of trade-offs here so if you select like a very old version of android like api uh, 21 which is lollipop you're able to target 94 percent of all android devices that exist out there in the wild um that's still not 100 percent but if you target something like api 16 you can get like very close to 100 percent you get 99.8 percent of all people uh, would be able to install your app uh, so going down uh, you know helps you cover a bigger base what does going up help like if i select uh, android uh, 8.0 uh, and above there's only 60 percent phones in the world support uh, android 8.0 and above but uh, it also means that there are certain features in android which have been added to android uh, in the later versions and they do not exist in the older versions so we can very freely use those uh, features and the size of our app is a little uh, smaller if we target a newer version because then a lot of supporting libraries are not bundled in our app 
okay so that's the trade-offs like you want to use the latest and greatest features or you want to support more people running older versions of android now, these days when i'm making apps uh if i have to like make a very wide release and i want a lot of people to be using it i generally prefer an api 23 which covers 85 percent of all devices uh, but if i am making uh, an app which is for you know uh, people with you know high-end phones or latest phones then i can target uh, api 26 which covers 60 percent of all uh, android devices okay so uh then then we click on uh, finish uh and uh it will start generating our project now, this is the step where uh, when you're doing it for the first time ever uh like if you just uh, installed android studio and you're doing this for the first time uh this can take a bit of time because it will be downloading a few libraries from the internet uh, which are required to build your project and uh, this step might take some time uh, right now for example it is taking me time it's uh, stuck on this uh, indexing and updating indices and everything so uh, what you can do is uh you, let's just you know take a pause here and uh, you know i will end this video here uh, when you're doing it yourself for the first time when you're here you can just go and grab a cup of coffee or anything for the first time when you're making uh, don't worry next time when you make an android project it will not get stuck in this tape for a long time but uh, when you're making it for the very first time it needs to download a lot of uh, libraries for the first time to set up the project environment for you and it might take some time so be patient at this stage uh, don't worry just open the background task window like this and inside the importing stage you should see what it is downloading and it should give you an idea about the status uh, if this uh, thing is not stuck if this progress is not stuck uh, then that's fine you can you can just uh, wait till uh, it ends if you have a good internet connection it will help of course it will happen faster uh, but this is an internet dependent step uh, so uh, take care of that okay